Hey everyone, welcome back to the George Mason Bioinformatics YouTube channel. Today we will be going over CHIME, which stands for Quantitative Insights into Microbial Ecology. This video will be split into two parts, one focusing more on the basic overview of CHIME, and the other one exploring the terminal interface of CHIME. It is important, however, to look at this video first so that you can gain a better understanding as to what CHIME is. So what is CHIME? CHIME stands for Quantitative Insights into Microbial Ecology, and it is indeed pronounced CHIME and not CHIME. CHIME.org states that CHIME is a bioinformatics pipeline and a pipeline essentially is where you take your genetic sequence in our case it was 16s ribosomal RNA sequence and retrieve outputs that's essentially what a pipeline is and that's what chime is so essentially you go from hundreds and thousands of A's, C's, G's, and T's and get a variety of outputs like phylogenetic trees, and other statistical information that users can use to help them better analyze their microbial population. Now, if you need help installing Chime onto your respective device, you can always ask your professors, your peers, or the internet for help on installing. And remember, if you can't properly install Chime onto your device the first time, do not be discouraged. People are here to help you, and it's not the easiest thing to download. A quick side note as well before we get on to the next video is that the next video is going to be geared towards the Mac terminal interface. So now that we kind of have a good understanding of what Chime does, let's explore the website a little bit. So if you go to chime.org, you're going to find this page over here, which tells you in much greater detail what Chime does, how to install it, how to get help as well, and citing Chime. And more importantly, for when we get to the terminal interface, it tells you the variety of scripts that you can use and what each script does. You can explore this website on your own as well, but this is what Chime.org looks like, and it is a great source for researchers and students. Now that we have a basic overview of what Chime does and we've explored the website a little bit, I'll catch you in the next video where we begin exploring the terminal interface of Chime.